let me show you how to run DeepSeek AI locally on ABPS. So follow me to my desktop right now. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is DeepSeek and we want to use their API to use it locally on our BPS. For this, we need to install N8N on our BPS. And also we do need a DeepSeek API account with some balance in it, okay? Once you have balance, we'll get access to the API keys where we can start using it on our N8N, all right? So to use this, we, we need the N8N on a BPS. Now, the easiest way to use N8N on a BPS is to actually install it directly in the BPS where you buy it. In this case, Hostinger does provide that situation where you can buy the BPS there and install N8N directly into that BPS without the need of an external BPS manager. So that means that you don't need to pay for another additional month to month payment for that BPS manager. To do that, we need a BPS on Hostinger and you will need to select the application. So in this case, go to operating system, select application. And when you first install the BPS, you will need to install N8N. If you don't do that, don't worry. You can come back here into operating system and go ahead and change it. Every time that you do this, it will delete the past information in the BPS. So make sure that you're not deleting important stuff, right? Now, if you don't know how to do this, I will be also linking a link in the video to the whole installation process, okay? And once you do that, you will have your own N8N already available here. And this is directly on the Hostinger BPS. Now, before I show you how to use it, let me show the sponsor for this video, which is actually Hostinger. So if you plan to grab a BPS, I do recommend that you check them out and have a super easy installation for the N8N application, right? So go to hosting, BPS hosting, and you'll be able to find your BPS hosting plans. I do recommend the KBM2, which is the most popular one, because it really has great ratio pricing to what you're going to get with limits. You get two TPU cores, eight gigabytes of RAM and hundred NVMe disk space, which is more than enough for your automation processes with N8N, right? So let's go ahead and choose this plan because I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for two years. Now, if you click on have a coupon code and type in my code, which is SAS master or paste it in, the price is going to drop to $150.98. And remember, that's for two years. So that's really affordable to have your own automation system with N8N on a BPS, right? Without any additional cost of a BPS manager. Okay, so let's jump into the workflow. Now, in this case, since we have the latest version of N8N installed automatically by Hostinger, we have access to DeepSeek directly inside of here, okay? So if I go to create a new workflow, you're going to be able to go ahead and add a new step. In this case, I'll get started with a first trigger. In this case, I'll just hypothetically say it's a form and I'll use this copy survey form and let's go ahead and test the step because we're going to need information for DeepSeek to actually use. In this case, is I'm just showing you with a form, okay? So let me go ahead and fill this form out really quickly and we should receive that data. Here we go. Okay, here it is. We got the data. Let's go back to Canvas and we're gonna click on the plus button to add DeepSeek, okay? So here we go, DeepSeek chat model. If you don't see this, that means that you don't have the latest version of N8N, okay? So update it. Now, once you're here, you want to select your account. In this case, we wanna create a new credential and it's gonna ask us for the API key. Now go back into DeepSeek API and we're gonna grab it over here. So your usage, go to API keys, create a new key and I'm gonna say just test Let's go ahead and grab this key really quickly and bring it inside of N8N. Okay, it's gonna save it. And here we go, connection tested successfully, right? Okay, here we go. So we're good to go. Let's come back over here. Let's go ahead and remove the when chat message is received because we wanna connect with our job form form. So that means that when it's filled out, it's gonna trigger deep seek in this case, okay? So this is one of the ways that we, that we can use it. There's also using this with an AI agent, which I'll also, also show you, okay? So here we go. We now have DC here. Let's go click on the basic LMM, LMM chain. And we want to trigger this with a define. So the prompt is going to be available right here. So what is DeepSeek going to do with the information it's going to receive? So in this case, I can tell it to provide something. So for example, uh, give me the result and then add here the prompt. So if I, for example, here, I'll go ahead and add this. Here we go. And it's going to start off with a command and then the information that it's going to receive. I can go ahead and drag these in depending on what I want to use this for. Okay. So in this case, just a quick test. Obviously, this just learn if some data and we are going to test this trigger to make sure that it works. So let's go ahead and 
start off and it's going to kick off deep seek and it should take a couple seconds sometimes it takes a few minutes with deep seek because sometimes it gets slow I, I think there's a lot of processing going on and we'll be getting the results in a few seconds so let's give it some time okay here we go so we just got the result and it says it seems we provided a passage of lorem ipsum and it tells me what this is for because this is they're basically and nothing going on it's just i just told it to give me the results and i just added lorem ipsum but we got the result so what is this going to happen so for example if i fill out the form with some data it's going to give me the result and it's going to trigger deep seek automatically now what you do after this depends up to you how you use this automation because you have a ton of applications that you can use at your own advantage here you can use flows to trigger some if so if if this happens then continue if not just stop or do something else with a router or connect to something else for example i can go to gmail and send off a gmail account for example send off a, a gmail message which i'm not going to do right now but this is going to trigger and i can set the, the results from dseek to be sent over gmail but it's just super easy to use DeepSeek here on n8n okay so that's one of the ways that we can use this with a trigger use DeepSeek, and then continue with the workflow that you want to use in this automation now as i mentioned this is just for testing purposes let's go and show you the other way that we can use this which is with the ai agent so i'm going to start off with the first step and i'm going to use on chat message there we go let's come back so we got our chat message here we're going to continue and we're going to go advance ai and we're going to use ai agent okay so in this case what we want to do is for example we want to do a conversational agent we got connected chat trigger mode let's come back over here and we're going to add a chat model to this so let's click on the plus button and there's several chat models available again we're going to use deep seek in this case and my account is already connected and i'm going to connect to deep seek chat right remember if you haven't connected your account go to create a new credential okay this is going to use your own api key all right so here we go we are going to now connect a memory for window buffer here we go and we are good to go the tool would be the same process as you saw before what is it going to do with the information afterwards to trigger this off and test it out i can go ahead and open the chat and test it out right here for example here we go i've just triggered it right now and it's going to start off the agent okay so again we got to give it a few seconds sometimes minutes and i don't know why it takes that long but it's just varies in the results okay here we go we got the results right now so let's go into the window buffer and we should have the output right here so the capital of france is paris so that is a result for this and you can see that's super easy to use and now will depend the tool that you want to use or the continuation to continue the flow as you saw before so it can the sky's the limit on how you want to automate and use deep seek in this case but those are two scenarios that you can use deep seek really easily here on n8n now the beauty about this is that you are hosting n8n and you you're using deep seek inside of it so that means that you're not going to have to pay for a platform or an independent bps manager if you use hostinger when you install the bps so definitely it's worth using this and just grabbing a affordable plan of hostinger and installing n8n and start using deep seek right away so there you go that's how you're going to use deep seek on n8n and that's a wrap